Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Louie. This episode is called Piggyback. What up, party people, and welcome. <laughs> To episode 70, 70 of two yes. bandits watching Bluey. You did it. <laughs> I'm your good pal, Greg Painter. I see him right there. He looks really great today. And with me, yes. a man I'm always happy to give a piggyback ride to. Oh, thanks, dude. And his name is... I go by Mike Martin. How you doing, bud? Couldn't be happier to be hanging out here today in the snowy world of Syracuse talking about Bluey. I How feel, are you? I feel like we have more episodes where we talk about it being snowy and miserable here than anything else. We should fix we, that. Never there mind. Should, there should eventually be an episode where we're like, it's a beautiful day in Syracuse. But then that, had to, that would have to actually happen first. We need, we need a sound bite. Boom. Good to go. Boom. It's okay. We're going to spring into sprung into spring in a week. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> sure they'll make once. it all better. Oh, gosh. But I, before we talk about spring or yep. bluey or anything... I got to get a little bit oh, no. retrospective and a little bit emotional here for a second. Emotionable? <laughs> emotional here for a second. <laughs> one take. Hey, it. guys. Thank you so much. Oh, Last gosh. week, we hit 100,000 downloads for this Google I... podcast we do. So I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Appreciate you all. Me and Mike started this. Mike just and I. On... You son of a... <laughs> We started this for just for fun, thinking <laughs> no one's really going to listen, but it'll be a good time to hang out and watch some Blue together. Dude. And flash forward to 100,000 people being on the journey with us. So thank you. You're awesome. Now, Mike, you say something cute. I'm not good at saying feels out loud. Perfectly um, put, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but honestly, in all honesty, as somebody that has grown to make it his profession and something that I do in my daily life, and this will always and consistent, consistently be. See, I can't do grammar either. Consistently be my passion project. I'm not throwing anything on top of it except for my love for the show. It it, it blows my mind the amount of support we've gotten, the amount of friendships that we have created, the, the, the people that have been around us from the beginning, whether it is artwork, whether it's comments on Twitter, whether it's it's people joining the Patreon, whether it's just goofy comments from people just, just that have been consistently reaching out to us. I, if you told me that a year and a half ago, I would say that you are a liar and a half. And guess what? You're not. We're not. Dang. Thank but you guys so much. You, Gales, this is everybody. Your, thank you. Whether this is your first episode yeah. or your 70th, we appreciate you and we love you. What's up? Enough of that emotional garbage, though. Dang it. Let's pretend it's springtime. It's... I want to walk on the parkway. Let's go piggyback, baby. Let's piggyback, and we will. But first, oh, let's see what our good pals at Wookie Bluey uh, have gonna, to say about this one. I thought you were going to throw something else at me. Hey, Greg. Yeah? What's a piggyback? <laughs> The healers take a long riverside walk, but Bingo's legs are tired, and she wants a piggyback. Mm. To distract her, Mum and Dad invent fun games and get her little legs moving again. That's cute. Actually, I really like that. <laughs> the, I, I think it's the little legs that get me on that. <laughs> Those little leggies. This episode is my life for so much, and we'll get into the details of it, but this one, happen. <laughs> this one gives me a lot of feels, a lot of shout out Olivia, a lot through this one. Oh no. We will go through it then, but little Miss Olivia. Dragging her? She, she yup. <laughs> oh, no, from, from From carry me downstairs in the huh? morning to oh, I don't want to walk at the mall oh, to oh, no. walk around the block. That's yeah, why no. you're so swole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See? So, right out of the gate, and, and it's it's with our conspiracy board situation, is this episode linked to other episodes in some fashion? Because they're at a holiday house. There's, there's, they're not at the healer house at all. This, this could easily be tied with the beach. I was thinking the beach. Swim school, too. Because Ooh, swim school? Yes, because they're, they don't have a pool at their house. So swim school when they're when they're all when they're learning together with a uh... oh I I always paired swim school with pool over a uh, good old Uncle Stripe's house oh you think in my head oh my head cannon well we haven't gotten there yet so I don't know but watching those I was like oh well are they are they combined because there's there's a lot of there's there's a lot of non healer household vibes here but 
the Holiday House made me want to go back to Outer Banks so Dude, badly. This episode makes me sad. <laughs> it doesn't make me sad. It makes me happy. I actually, 2024. It's going to happen. This I, uh, Guarantee. This, this is a higher ranking episode than expected. Coming really? up. Really? I think. Very much. I get a lot of love for this. I, I have a lot of love for this episode. This this is a very simple, straightforward, literally, episode. Yeah, it's very railroaded. Where it's, there's it's, not, <laughs> there shouldn't be a lot of meat on the bone. There's but in the much. end, there really is. Animators and sound editors the sound. across the board is. I love me. Shout out Joff, as always, the sound in this episode and the way they do it and the way that they crescendo and the way that it fades in and out and loops. Not just like across. There, there's a lot coming up here, folks. There's a lot coming up. There's but a lot. I don't want to go for a walk. Uh, because, right. They're not even walking. That's my first note. They're on scooters. <laughs> it cuts that to the house be. in the background, too. Where it's yeah. like right there. Literally like, just started. Can we, we got Bluey <laughs> going. And this, this again, a lot of feels. I get often with both Littlies. Sure. The, let's take the scooters out. Let's take the bikes out. We get about a block down, and that's now the next thing that I'm carrying while they're just walking, <laughs> hoofing it. Back. It's like, Can you piggyback? At that point, if I was Bandit, I would be doing a quick jog back to the beach house, dropping that scooter off, and then I'll catch up to you. No, I'd be catching up. Oh. But I'd get rid of that scooter. Oh. You don't need that scooter the whole time. Yes. Those things are metal. They'll jab into your shoulder. It's uncomfortable. Yes. You, you are clearly not somebody who has carried a scooter for, <laughs> I'm going to say a mile, not- which is also my next question. How far are they going? I'm calling this a mile walk. Oh, gosh. I would, yeah, that sounds like a mile walk. I mean, you're, you are got littlies with you. That's, that's a mile walk down the, the boardwalk. Uh, I mean, shout out across the board right out of the gate, no matter what. This is a walk on the Onondaga Parkway, Lake Parkway, bar none. You're I, walking by. You've got water. It's, it's exactly what you're doing. That's, I, that's the exact route they're going. I'm very jealous of people who live in the Brisbane, Queensland area, though. If they have just beautiful oceanfront, but then also just a beautiful river walk. Yes. That's, that's too much awesome, and that's not fair. Although, if they're in a holiday house, uh-huh. they're, they might not be just hanging in Queensland. They might be a uh, adventure tiger in across the land somewhere. Shout out Justin from... from Yeah. Blue's Brisbane. Blue's Brisbane. Yes. Thank you. Uh, is that is that... In India? Somewhere in their location? Or is it a travel trip that they're they're showing the background? Wait a or second. like that? Or are, is it... Are they on Onondaga Lake Parkway? Or is they, it Syracuse? Are they in the... I did not see the dome in the background. Ah. Uh, the carrier... Well, it's the, the... Not the carrier dome any longer. JMA Wireless Dome. Blah, blah, blah. Miss you it's every the day. Dome in our this heart. is a very Syracuse-centric episode. You better believe it because this... this so, I'll just say it now then. The the background character like when you watch a cartoon, in general, and I don't I don't think I I don't I don't think we call Bluey a cartoon ever, but the the usually in the background you see repeating backgrounds consistently. This we episode do not. does not show a single repeating frame once. Not only that, holy guac! Not only that. They have background characters who have been in other shows. Like the the Kali from Surfing is there. Yes. Um, there, ah, there's like some shopkeeper. And I can't remember which episode off the top of my head right now. There's different families having breakfast. Unnamed We've got characters. Skidoos flying by after the Dude. boats and then sailboats. It's like you said, this isn't Tom and Jerry Chase scene with a repeating background left <laughs> and right. This <laughs> is... In, and it's not the whole like cheap gloat of like, oh, you should just throw her in the background, throw us in the background because we'd be happy doing that. And of course we would, but it's just it shows the credit to the show of them just saying like just showing, no, this is real life and this is these people are having lunch. This person's there's an artist just sitting there drawing and living I I, life. And, I, ag- I agree. Those artists uh, could probably put us in the background so easily because they're so skilled and amazing and probably handsome. Gosh, so dapper, so dapper, so lame. Moving on. <laughs> Bingo, so tired, can't help it. Ice cream truck. Boom. Yeah. That's the first stretch of energy. She's moving now. Which, once more, I I have used this episode because Lil, Lil Tired Liv has been predating this episode. Okay. And I've definitely used these tricks of playing the games to try to get her those extra few steps. It works. She's not a lazy kiddo. She'll run around like a crazy person. But if it's just, we're walking. It's like, well, no, that's boring. It works. And it's good exercise. Hey, Mike. 
Yeah? What's your go-to ice cream truck purchase? My go-to ice cream truck purchase? I mean, I want to see where the eyeballs are landing on my Ninja Turtle with the gumballs. I want to see! Because you never never get a Ninja Turtle gumball ice cream. So you're getting your ice cream for an art installation and not for food. Of course! I have ice cream in my house. I want to see where those eyeballs are on Michelangelo. Of course. What are you getting? You gotta get one of those nutty bars. The ones that have like, it's like the the waffle cone Mm -hmm. with the very mechanical looking chocolate on the top Mm -hmm. with the little peanuts on the top of it. That thing's perfect in every way. I got one in my my freezer. You want one right now? Yeah. I got, really? I got you, you, dog. After the podcast. Oh, oh, see for later. Moving on. They have good ice creams at this ice cream shop. Oh, what are some of them? Uh, there's a, there's hey, a Mike, cupcake ice cream, ice cream selection. Cupcake ice cream? Ooh. Like a, I don't know. Like I mean, that's what cake. they have there. There's like three different cupcake style ice cream selections. They're all locked up with a simple padlock, which I love. Absolutely. Why? Wait. Yeah. Ice cream person. Why? Why are you closed? That's a really good. <laughs> Maybe I just. Everybody. <laughs> hey, Mike. Everybody poops. All right. And I don't think there's a way to do that in the truck. You put up a sign. It says be back in five minutes. Or if it, if you're having a bad day, be back in 12 minutes. Like, <laughs> leave a sign and say, hey, I'll be back when I can come back. But, and there's also a dog bone ice cream on there. I thought that was cute. They're always for their dogs. Wait of a course. Hmm. They also have a melted ice cream. I, I, there's a little popsicle stick on the side. Somebody ate it and they just threw it down. They're like, I'm not a fan of this one. It's probably a bad Ninja Turtle Rude. eyeball yeah, situation. Rude. But... <laughs> Moving on, next distraction. Oh. Let's race with dad. It's a good race. It's a good race. It's good. No, it's not good. What? And you'll get there if you're not there already. What? Every now and then, when I go to the mall what with Miss Emily, that? we do, there's a there's a hill going up to the movie theater yeah. at the lovely Destiny Mall. Again, yeah. another Syracuse shout out. You're, you're stuck with us today, folks. We're, we're, we feel at home in this episode for some reason. Two weeks ago, uh-huh. she beat me. Legit. Uh-huh. I, I felt that pain with Bandit having to do the double speed when he was walking back backwards, up. being the finish line. He, he couldn't just do that standard walking backwards. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to start working out more, do some more training, because I'm getting my butt kicked by an eight-year-old I at think it's... hill races now. <laughs> I, I think it's right around here that you actually, it's it's one of those just small new. I mean, there's millions of small nuances, but a small thing that happens is uh, Bandit and Chili, you see them walking after, I think it's the first, maybe it's the ice cream moment, but you the see them walking. Roll? What's that? With the, the little eye roll? The, they do the eye roll when they announce the episode, and then you see Bandit and Chili walking because they're parents with kids, and they have a moment, and they just both hold hands. Damn. And they're walking on the parkway, and they're both holding hands. And I don't think you see it very often, so it's just this cool little moment of affection of not saying the kids are distracted, but yeah, the kids are distracted. Yeah. I love you, babe. Like, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a vacation moment. for them, too. It they're is. mom and dad, but they're also husband and wife. Yes. And they're enjoying each other's company. So they're finding ways to say, you know, bingo. We're going to we're gonna find something for you to do consistently, but here's looking at you, kid. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's good, man. <laughs> no, it's less romantic. Uh, Witchity grubs. What's a witchy grub, Doc? You don't know what a witchy grub is? I well, had a hunch that you were going to find out for me. That's I, why. Didn't, I didn't have to Google for, for this one because shout out to the wonderful and beautiful Beth Painter, who okay. just, along with my Crazy wonderful wife. daughter, yeah, um, <laughs> along with my wonderful daughter, Emily, uh, for Girl Scouts, had World Thinking Day. And That's they, right. They did Australia, and she researched things and items. And first off, I'm going to show you, and I'm sure we can plop this on the Twitter, but this is a witchy grub. Ew. It is very much a wormy, caterpillary, not a fuzzy, cute, little, adorable urchin that looks like it's picked out of Star Wars or something. If I saw a line of them hanging out going across my path. They don't They don't look appealing to you? <laughs> that's a nod, dog. No? That's well, a... I know you got the ice cream bars in the fridge. You don't have any witchy grubs? No witchy guess grubs. Guess what, homie? Why, are they edible? Don't, yup. Don't you fear factor me hey, right now. Hey, what do you think no. an itchy grub tastes like? Uh, I would prefer you tell me, and then I'll think about it later, because so, I'm not going to find out. according to the wonderful, lovely, and amazing Beth Painter. <laughs> Why do we know these? No! A no, raw, know these a raw witchy grub tastes no. like almonds, and a cooked witchy grub is like scrambled eggs. So next time you actually get a couple egg chunks in your scrambleds, 
Just pretend it's just a little witchy bones. So I'd rather just have some <laughs> almonds and eggs, dog. Like uh, that, that's a that's a no. That's a, that's a big old. Okay, what? again, PO what? box. What was our PO no! box again? To no. Send us no, some no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Big nope. 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 Uh, moving on. We're moving moving Boom. on. I'm moving on. Painter. We're moving on, but we're gonna still move on to that same moment because I don't think that mom who's on the phone. Uh-huh. I think she crushes those witcheries. It looks like it looks like she just plows over them, doesn't it? No, or, she scoops. She boops I, and boops. I thought the boop and boop was just booping over top of them. For the for the kid's sake, be like, yep, <laughs> oh no, I'm going by. Yeah, she's Oh You're not thinking No, I think she's well Well, maybe. She she's not a very concerned mother because she does lose pacifier and not care at all. That her child did not have the pacifier. Not only so, lose the pacifier and doesn't care about it, but okay with accepting floor pacifier. Oh, that's right. Yeah, great. I, <laughs> I am. I am hopeful. Oh, don't grab. It's a pen right on the floor. Water bottle. Boil it. it. <laughs> Boil it. Shout no. out again to the sound editors. This in that is what situation. I was going to ask you. Okay, here we go. Is there? She's on the phone, yes. and you have somebody coming through with that phone style audio. No, I am not Mike Martin. I did not have both headsets on my ears. What do you have the conversation? What were we no, discussing? No, I don't. Ah, actually. Michael. Dang it. I'm sorry. Do you want to find out now? No. Uh, mm. uh, I, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> no, but I, I thought it was really cool that you could hear the conversation happening. Oh, man. He uh, wanted me to go I'm nitty very, and gritty. I love the, can you walk this back to the mommy that mom says? Mm-hmm. And just, again, bingo spurning. Just that happy-go-lucky bingo walk after she's well, done that. Like, she's just, she's almost like a bushwhacker, rolling <laughs> her arms up and back, just so excited <laughs> and happy about herself. Of course. And she loses, I think she loses her helmet there, too, where she gets off to see the, the witchy grubs to where, like, her scooter, she gets off, she throws her helmet and... Let's check this out. So she's she's on board. So she's she's willing to not have piggybacking to start doing and experiencing the things that are better on foot. Now this this is a very dad move here by Bandit. Okay, pointing out the fact. Oh, you don't seem tired anymore, bro. No, no, don't have to no, shout that no, out. No, 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 no. Two bandits watching Bluey. This is like probably the one four seconds that I'll say that bad dad move. Don't call out the thing your child was sad about after they have not distracted themselves but found new happiness in that moment oh man oh bingo your legs still are your legs still tired dude trying to make a point you're but setting when yourself they're up four, no that's not the point to make you teach yourself up for failure in that situation because of course your kid's gonna say oh yeah my legs are still tired they were she was she was good. She was moving forward. She could she could find her own happy. And Bennett's like, mm, legs still tired? Dude. So you did that to you. From then on out, he deserves piggyback. Well, he was he you. does. But he she, is she, carrying she, she does because it was the follow-up was like, oh man, but I wanted pine cones for your mom. Okay. Cheap recovery. I don't know. Love. Love this sequence, too, because this is one of the best where the music kind of flows great. Yeah. Running to get the pie codes, and then Bluey just there whacking a tree with a stick. What? <laughs> Bingo B, I'll be right back. Runs back with the pine cones. Chili just, aw, thanks. What kid And just then said? back to just bopping the tree with a stick. Hey, look at this tree. Let's just beat it with stick. <laughs> oh, you're saying that's weird? <laughs> It's not weird. If I'm, you were walking around, like, so you're walking around your neighborhood, and you just see a kid. Just I'll tell you this. Beating I'll, tree. I'll tell you this much for free right now, Michael. Thanks. Last year, every day at the bus stop when we were at our neighbor's house, you were beating Emily, a tree. Emily and our neighbor's son, who were okay. code nameless because they're not going to call out a neighbor's kid on a podcast, <laughs> sure. would just go up to their tree in their yard with Kyle. multiple sticks and just bam, just bashing the tree with a stick until the stick breaks. With the goal of eventually knocking the tree down because the neighbor would always joke. It's like, really? You need to get that tree down? Are you kids on it yet? And now, what? And now this year, Olivia, now that Emily's at a different school, Olivia has taken her sister's place in helping take that tree out one stick at a time. Why are your kids hitting a tree with a stick? Because they're kids. What? <laughs> so, like, I, I respect I'm sure they couldn't be cool like you and your childhood and playing... <laughs> 
dick ball on the NES system or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just... Touch grass, Mike. Touch for once. Oh, crap off. <laughs> I, I love that that Bandit does. Now, this is where Game Respect Game in your situation, Bandit is carrying the scooter now. He put it over his Ugh. shoulder. He's carrying the scooter. He's carrying her helmet. So he's Ugh. he's realized the error of his way. He's like, okay, I'm going to carry the scooter the whole way now. So that's... Ben Chicken! Yeah! The cr- I love that's, Crazy Pingo so much. That's where she kicks in hard. She totally does. Because it's not, it does say yeah in the captions, but I hear like a like a Night Bacon-esque bingo kicking exactly. in here where it's like yar i don't think it's yeah i think it's a like, yeah and i like the simultaneous you sneaky ibis <laughs> like they that is clearly a game they play quite often yes chase the chin bacon the chin bacon the chin Whoa. bacon <laughs> and call it a sneaky ibis it is indeed <laughs> next on the routine scare parents oh this is this is cute it's nice but this is the one thing that with Lily sometimes, okay, that was fun. Let's do exactly the same again. Oh, I don't get that. You no, don't get, no. Well, we get a lot of, let's do the same. Let's say, I was like, oh, let me scare you. Ha <laughs> ha, that was good. Let's do it again. It's like, oh, oh no. we don't need take two, take three. As we got yeah. to clean on one. As Mr. Spontaneous, I, I don't know if I could do multiple takes. I'm, I'm a once and done kind of guy. So have you really had that? Where it's yeah. like, oh, again. Like, yeah. Again. Like, yeah. Oof, a doof. If it's a good game, why not go back to the well? <sighs> a lot of it, a lot of it too. A recent one is um, knock on the door of my room and then run away, and I'll pretend to be shocked, and yeah. then then do that eight nine times in a row. That's why my office has no door. Open door <laughs> policy here. Look no at door you. <laughs> Are you ready for the next part here? Are we going to the chariot? We're gonna go. Ready, uh, set, uh, goat to the next segment. Aha! Let's go. Go on up. Mm. Goat. I said goat. That's so cute. It's so great that she, that she, she now she's accepting the fun because he's not asking. Oh, it leg's still sore. Let's keep going with the fun. Keep going with the fun. It's better on your feet and experience it versus being piggybacked. And this very much feels like they've, he's done that to her before. Yes. And she is taking that game. It's like, oh, ah, take that, Dad. I can be goofy, too. I can she's tease. She's picking up the sneaky traits. I like that. But I'm sorry. Chariots. Yes, chariots. I think I just skipped chariots almost. Did we skip chariots? Yeah. Oh. You so had the, to comment on chariots. Go Wonder has not, ha- no, has that was, not happened That was yet. right after chariots. Oh, oh, so it's good exercise, chariots. It is. For Chili. I like the chariots moment. Again, I feel like there's, there's a little... It has to be some sort of vacation with the family because I can see Bandit and Chili being a little spunky, I guess you can say. Because when Chariot starts, he does a, a, a husbandly thing. He slaps her bum. When the Chariot starts... I miss that. He, he goes and he gives her a nice little slap on the bum like, go for it. <laughs> and then she starts running. So it's just, he's being cheeky. And it, it, you can see. So they had like an afternoon cocktail. Yes. It's five o'clock somewhere. There you Let's go. go for a walk. Let's go for a walk because the sun is setting here, it seems like. Oh, we'll get to that. Oh. I have some feels and some thoughts, but don't, don't, oh, don't get me there yet, the dude. Greg. Yeah. Ready, set, go. We're running. But now it's game over. Now we have hit Bingo's threshold and she just melts on the oh, sidewalk. Come on. No. That is just. She's Too selling it. Goofy. John just takes a step and like her body is melting down lower with every move that mm. she makes. And I then, don't know, girl. She's... Mom comes in with the MVP moment. Do you notice your legs aren't tired when you're having fun? Mm-hmm. Do you think I can notice that too? See? It's <laughs> this is like one of those episodes that it's directly telling you what the message is of the episode. While you're watching it, it's not it's not a hidden message at all, because I also th- I think Ban is someone that says it where he says you'll miss out on all the fun stuff on the ground if we piggyback. Exactly. Like you're gonna miss out on everything if you just let somebody carry you around or if you just very ignore much, it. Whether it's a walk, whether it's a long car ride, are we there yet? Yes. Just look out the window, see the world, make games, make fun, embrace the now. Don't don't let somebody just carry you and be like, all right, we're here now. 
Just find the fun there. Channel your inner gingerbread man. <sighs> oh, jeez. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I, Michael, mm-hmm. loved this story when I was little. I okay. read this. This was my like go-to book for a quite a long time. I didn't. It was one of those things where you don't remember it until you watch it on Bluey. Uh-huh. I'd be like, "Oh, that's right. I don't really remember that, but that just kind of pops right into my brain." Being like five years old and reading the Gingerbread Man book at my grandparents' house. <laughs> yeah, I've no, never read. Really? <laughs> yeah, I am so sorry, man. <laughs> like. <laughs> I, I appreciate what happens in the episode so much because the camera cuts to Bingo running away and running towards the screen. and Everybody's trying to chase her behind her. It's very horror movie esque feel. But shooting. she's in the now. She's not. She's not losing the moment anymore. She's embracing the moment, and they're chasing her, and it's great. Runs from the little old woman, the little old man, the sneaky fox. So, did that give you weird vibes at all? The sneaky fox. Pause. Cool. No, it didn't. Did not give you any Blue Mountain vibes. But because poor are always the bad guy. Zootopia's entire concept movie he is about how foxes are always the totally bad guy. channels into that sneaky that sa- fox. Same tone. Same. And he's cadence. got the, his eyebrows go a little lower, like he's being a little little sneaky. And even when he's chasing her, his eyebrows are lower, like that sneaky fox. And, and it does a weird camera cut too, of. You see a little bit of bandit belly mode, so I'm wondering. Oh. It totally does. Tell me it doesn't. There's a camera I, cut that shows like a weird angle. He's of bandit. chanting that character, but he's still bandit. He's not bandit's he's hand been bandit, with dude. eyebrows on it, with arms that never end. Fine. No Slenderman bandit there. Don't even try. <laughs> but we did it. Yes. We're excited. Episode over. We're at the riverbank. It's going to be nice. We'll chill here for like 50 minutes until the sun sets. Oh, no. You're go home. Here comes Bingo. Boop. Gone. Uh, you won't get me, Sneaky Fox. I'm going to run all the way back to the house so nobody can enjoy the beautiful sunset. Uh, Come on, man. Exercise is good and all, but stay for the sunset. <laughs> it's Bingo's, vacation. Bingo's finding her moment. She's found her way to enjoy the moment, and she doesn't give two flarps about sunset, dog. It's... <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I'm out. Missed opportunity. Again, maybe a canned cocktail or something has happened because Chili's like, ah, oh, can't give her a piggyback. How about Chili? <laughs> I love that. Again, like There's you said, so much love between the two of them this episode. They're having some joy. I will get slightly real here now, though. Aw. It's okay to carry your kid. They're only this small once. I'm. I don't mind if Liv's legs are tired, picking her up, walking. I want to make her exercise and walk and work out, but they're only this little once. When they're a teenager, you're not gonna have that bonding moment of just carrying and snuggling and stuff. So it's okay to pick up your little. Don't feel bad about it. Of course. And hey, if you're going on something wacky adventure, we still. When we did Disney last year, mm-hmm. we still had a double stroller. Because whether you're two or three or six and eight or five or whatever, if you're walking 10 miles with a little one, make your life a little bit easier. Have a stroller to put your bags in. Let them take a break. I know independence is a good thing, but it's okay to carry your kids. How often did Beth push you in the stroller when you were a little tuckered too? Did it? I would like, sit on the end of the stroller every here and there when I needed to. <laughs> God, just making sure. I think I would have broken it if it got pushed a little bit. <laughs> But I wasn't above to sitting on the foot of it and leaning back for a second in the 102 degree Disney heat. I found that very interesting just a moment ago that you said it's cool to let your kids work out every now and then. I'm like, I don't really know if I'm when Finn goes to PE, if I'm like, you work out today, dog. Like, I love it. I love it. But yes, it's very true. They, they need a moment to, they're kids. Exactly. Let them, let them rest. Like, they're exactly. little like, you don't know how long they can work and. You know, when you get to a point in time... And like, we and we learned in just a couple episodes, Bingo's got little stubby little legs, so mm, she needs to rest sometimes. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Oh, that one's going to break me, just so you know. Oh, you'll be fine. Come but on. Before we get there, hey, Mike. Yeah, dude. What was your favorite thing today? My favorite thing... Uh, so there's, there's so... M- it stinks because... It doesn't stink. It's difficult to find a single moment in this episode because 
I feel like this episode brings so much to the table that people don't recognize that is going on. There's so much, and that that's that's I think the meat of the episode is you miss out on so much if you get piggybacked. If you walk it and enjoy life, you're gonna see all the things. You're gonna see all the background characters versus just let it go. Whatever. That's that's what I think the the meat of the episode is. But my favorite thing is, is literally the last moment where Chili jumps on Bandit's back. <laughs> it it makes me so happy because it's. It's both of them enjoying because they walked the walk the whole way. And at the end, Chili's like, oh, yeah. And she jumps on his back in such a fun, loving way. So that's that's my favorite thing. In this mm. episode. Glad, Greg! I'm glad Bandit doesn't skip leg days. That could have broken back. <laughs> oh, well, I, mean, I mean, he works with the yoga ball. He's exactly. always sitting on the yoga ball. He's always doing it. Greg, what's your favorite thing today? My favorite thing was the 20 seconds of Bingo running to grab the pine cones while we see Bluey <laughs> hitting the tree. The music is like at its peak right then running back just to like oh pine cone and then bingo just runs right back to hit the tree until the stick snacks like <laughs> that that quick little interaction was just funny <laughs> i know that you're too evolved to hit a stick with a stick but whatever you know what i'm gonna do today i got options so there's so much going there are so much going on nailed it who's your favorite character in this episode. That's my girl Bingo. Yeah. She Bingo equaled Livy in this episode, as she quite often does. I felt the struggle. The struggle was real. It was super cute. So I got to give it, it was to there. Bingo. Absolutely. Who is your favorite character? My favorite character was every uncredited person in the background of this episode. <laughs> There's so much going on. Jet ski people. I'm supposed to be the one shouting out background actors, Dude, just, background artists. There's no repeat. There's no repeat at all. And I love that because they, they showcase when you go on a walk, you're not seeing Tom and Jerry and Tom and Jerry. You're seeing so much happening. So it's so cool. I, 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 I the people that the, I am the voice of the voiceless today. You are the voice of the voice. <laughs> and man, those artists on Bluey, they're so smart and attractive and wonderful to be able to do stuff like that. Right. Guys, right? Dapper hat. Greg, <laughs> You're looking at me when we could do that. it. Just put us in the background. Nobody's got to know about it. It'll be our secret. <laughs> Gosh darn it. It's Greg, folks. We won't, we won't tell Joe. It's okay. It'll be our secret, guys. I might tell Joe. Hey, Mike, how do you rank yeah. this episode? I rank this episode one cheeky slap on the bum. I loved it. <laughs> that was <Cheeky>. great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I exactly. <laughs> I say my words for a reason. I thought it was adorable. I thought it was great. And it just shows. Just just the all encompassing how fun it is to just have a day on a walk and just embrace everything, enjoy it, enjoy the ride, and notice your don't don't get a piggyback. Don't get the piggyback. That's that's the moral of the episode is don't take the piggyback. Don't do it. Take the walk and enjoy it. If you take the piggyback, you're gonna fall asleep, you're gonna be bored. Enjoy it. Greg, how yeah. is it possible? Are we episode 70? seventy? How do you even think of ranking this episode? Number seventy. Oh, Bluey, piggy back. I rank this eight witchy grubs just enough for a proper omelet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Quick plugs. Link tr.ee slash watching Bluey, merch, Patreon, socials, TikTok, all that good stuff. Check it out. The whole shebang. Watching Bluey at Gmail. Send us your takes, your thoughts, your feels. I think our email bag is pretty empty at the moment. Oh. I know. Fill, fill it up. Fill that bag? Yeah, fill that bag. Great review, subscribe. I got a couple people to thank. Oh. First off, felines got the bee's knees. Thanks, yo. Uh, great <laughs> show. That's great. Love that there are other people out there being so active in the Bluey community. Uh, and this is a lot more words I'm not going to say all out, but a beautiful long review and I love it. Oh, and then yeah. also thanks to Jordan the Hoff. Yes! Started listening after hearing the two bandits on the Gotta Be Done trivia. Oh, I man. I have binged the entire boo. back catalog. Don't boo our fans. <laughs> I boo the fact that we lost. Our entire it's back us. catalog since then. <laughs> Love it. having another great Bluey podcast. Thank you so much. That so Jordan and so Feline, you're both awesome. Booing our performance. That's all we didn't do. P.O. Box 2372. Send us those widgety grubs. Oh, Syracuse, no, New York. Don't. 13220. Oh I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> don't tempt. And lastly. And most importantly. If you need help having your Little League get from point A to point B, check Scooter out store. Bubby's Playpen in Stafford, Queensland. Okay. Yes. Brisbane's longest established baby hire business first opens its doors in 1992 we are a family owned and operated and pride ourselves in offering services 
that are backed with years of experience. We offer a large range of baby equipment for hire, including capsules, car seats, cots, bassinets, and strollers. What's a capsule? It's like a thing in Australia. <laughs> uh, what's a what's a baby hire business? Because that took me a while to realize baby hire business, they don't hire babies as interns or something. It's to get stuff for your baby. <laughs> Where do we find them, Greg? Australia's best baby staffing agency. It's Bubby's Playpen. Good thing they don't really pay us for these because this one went off the rails. But I'm happy I did it, Mike. You know why? Why is that Because it's got to be done. It's gotta-